All right, it's a great day in Alabama baseball history. When Coach Gaspard resigned a couple of weeks ago, uh, I had a, uh, we were in the market for a coach and I was looking for uh, somebody that had head coaching experience. I was looking for somebody that uh, understood and had been in the SEC. I was looking for somebody that had a passion uh, to uh, coach at Alabama, and I was looking for somebody who had a drive to go to Omaha. Uh, before I get further into that, though, I want to recognize a few people. Uh, we have, I know, one trustee here, Trustee Sam Phelps and former trustee Paul Bryant are here. Would you recognize them? We have a bunch of head coaches here, and I don't know if I can see all of them in the lights, but I can see Avery Johnson right here and Christy Curry and uh, Jay Sewell, and I forgot his name there for a minute, but not long, and Patrick Murphy, and who we got uh, some good softball prospects over here and will be recruiting. Uh, Wes Hart, Larry Davis, Dana Duckworth, Mick Potter, Jenny Mines, uh, George Husak, Dan Waters. Anybody else? Any other coaches? Heather Cook is our boss of all of us. She's Mal Moore's daughter, and she keeps us all straight. Uh, there are probably other dignitaries. I know we've got a lot of staff that has worked hard uh, on this project, and, and I, I want to thank them, but we won't recognize them. And if I've left anybody out, I'm sorry. Uh, but our new coach has head coaching experience at every level. Uh, everywhere he's been, he has won. Uh, he was a pitching coach at Kentucky for four years. He was a head coach at Montevallo, so he knows the state of Alabama. I want to read to you a letter that I got, interestingly enough, after we had decided that he was our man and after we had offered him the job. Uh, but it sums up our feeling about our new coach. This is from his former athletic director at Campbell University. It says, I don't have to tell you that Greg Goff is a winner. After taking Montevallo to the World Series, he turned Campbell baseball upside down with three 40-win seasons and a regional. We were able to build a new stadium with his efforts. Campbell had never won 30 games before, and he left campus with 40 wins as our new normal. The entire community fell in love with him, with his passion, his ability to fundraise and to friend raise for a program that has been bad for years. His beautiful family and those four girls were a fixture at our games. What he has done at Louisiana Tech in two short years is nothing short of amazing. <clears throat> to take a 40-loss 40 team, 40 team and turn them into a 40-win team is incredible. His dream job is to come to Alabama. A lot of people throw around the term Omaha. That is exactly where he is going. Greg has a great plan, as passionate as I'm sure you know, and will win the state in recruiting. He is low maintenance for administration, which is a good thing, <laughs> but as high maintenance as a coach as he gets the absolute most out of his players and wins everywhere he's been. He would walk to Tuscaloosa if you ask him to. I just wanted you to know my passion for a former coach of mine who has Omaha written all over him. So I want you to welcome, oh, before I do that though, I want you to welcome our new first family of baseball, Miss Tina, would you stand? And and I think in order, Kenzie and Kobe and Kylie and Kara, would you stand please? Please welcome our new baseball coach, Craig Goff. My wife is not blind, guys, so I know I, I kick my coverage, as Coach Saban might would say. 
But uh, what an honor to be here and to be a part of this today. This has been an overwhelming day for me and my family. God is good. God is good. Um, it's just an <clears throat> unbelievable day for us to come here to be a part of this. Started early this morning and uh, has continued all the way through today. And I'm so blessed and thankful to be a part of this uh, family and tradition here at the University of Alabama. I want to thank uh, Dr. Bell, the Board of Trustees, and Coach for allowing me to live out my dream. Uh, 46 years old, and uh, today uh, accumulates a lot of uh, moving, a lot of tears, a lot of relationships, a lot of uh, goodness in people, and uh, it's an honor for me to be a part of this and to, to be standing in front of you today. Like Coach said with my family, uh, you know, if I don't sit up here and, and thank my wife, Tina, for not only moving to seven different states, um, to have four daughters in four different states, uh, we kept trying. <laughs> Just didn't happen, you know. So it's amazing when I got the job at Louisiana Tech um, a few years ago, the high school football coach come, brought his son to my camp. And uh, I went over and introduced myself to him. And he says, Coach, I know. I know who you are. You got four girls. I was like, good gosh. Isn't that amazing? So all you football coaches, I'm sorry. I didn't deliver any boys. But maybe the softball teams and girls sports will be happy. Uh, but just want to thank Tina and our, my girls for uh, allowing us to move and to do the things that we do. Uh, today is my 21st anniversary. So happy anniversary. This is an awesome day. You know, this journey began as a head coach uh, just right up the road at the University of Montevallo. Uh, that's where I got my head, uh, my first head job, uh, leaving the SEC as a pitching coach and, and making that dream. And a guy named Mike Kinsella hired me there and gave me the opportunity to start this journey and went from there to Bowie's Creek, North Carolina, at Campbell University, uh, another great place. Uh, Stan Williamson and Mr. Bob Roller there. And then the opportunity uh, just a couple of years ago to go to Louisiana Tech uh, and Tommy McClellan and Dr. Geis, uh, again, opened that door for me to have a chance to get to uh, a big university, the Conference USA, and um, just so thankful for all those people in my life that's given me an opportunity that believed in, in Greg Goff and given me a chance to be a head coach and do all those things. You know, <clears throat> going to a place for two years uh, and leaving is tough. Uh, that wasn't the plan. Uh, we had an awesome, awesome uh, opportunity there and was very blessed to be there. Um, and when Coach Battle called and we talked about the Alabama job, I thought I was dreaming. Uh, and, you know, I wouldn't have left Ruston, Louisiana if it wasn't my dream job. Uh, we loved Louisiana Tech and what we were doing there. To take a team that uh, had won 14 games before we got there to 42 and to get to a regional this year was, you know, a very emotional attachment. And uh, for us to walk away there, uh, it had to be a special place. And the University of Alabama is the place we want to be. <clears throat> I want to thank Coach Gaspard and what he's done for this program. I know I've known Coach uh, for a while. And uh, his dedication and hard work of what he's done for this program, I have the utmost respect for. Uh, he's leaving this program in, in really good shape. I'm coming into a, a great place. Um, I feel great about the players that have been here, that are here, the facilities. I know how hard he worked to uh, make this commitment to this university. And uh, I'm forever indebted to Coach Gaspard and what he's done with that. There were four, four coaches uh, before I became a head coach that gave me an opportunity as a player. Coach Bill Marchand at Delta State, he just passed away this week. It was a tough time for me as a mentor passing away, but he uh, passed away this week. And Coach Kennison at Delta State, and then at Southeast Missouri, Coach Mark Hogan, and then Keith Madison really opened that door and gave me a chance to be the pitching coach at the University of Kentucky. And, and all those four men have been great mentors to me and, and a lot to, meant a lot to my life. As we take over this program, our number one goal is recruiting. Our number one goal is to win this state. Uh, the University of Alabama is, is, is 
a tremendous opportunity for kids in this state. Uh, if kids hadn't heard from Greg Goff in the next 24 to 48 hours, they will. We're going to recruit this state. We're going to own this state. Uh, we're not going to lose to this state. I know um, when we were playing uh, in Starkville a few weeks ago, there was some, some roster spots from Alabama. That can't happen. We've got to keep these guys in the state of Alabama. We've got to grow uh, and continue to build those relationships. Uh, as I was at the U University of Montevallo for four years, we built great relationships with the high schools. It's great high school baseball here in the state of Alabama. Great coaches, great summer league programs. And that makes my job so much easier whenever I can be uh, fed great players. And so we're really excited about the opportunity of, of building this uh, right here in the state of Alabama. We've got to win the recruiting wars here, and I look forward to being in homes and all around this state uh, to win those guys. And I know coaching them, I did a great job and got some tremendous uh, commitments already for the 17 and 18 class, and uh, looking forward to building those relationships uh, from that standpoint. You know, I also just want to just, you know, uh, as, a, as a coach, you know, to me, we're as good as our players. And as I walked in the door to see some of my former players here today, uh, those relationships that we have grown over the last 21 years of coaching baseball are really the main reason that we do it. You know, wins and losses go. But to walk in that room today and to see my former players that, that believed in Greg Goff when we were a little Division II school or a small Division I school, it means a lot. It means a lot. And those relationships, not, they don't stop whenever we stop coaching. They're just beginning. And uh, just really thankful for all the coaches, I mean, all the assistant coaches and all the players that have played for me um, because I know I heard it was a little tough to play for me. So I heard I was a little tough. So, um, <clears throat> you know, the, the, the biggest thing when I came uh, to campus is to walk into this facility. This is amazing. Coach Battle, thank you. Thank Coach Gadget, all you guys that have made this one of the best facilities in the country. I was overwhelmed to see uh, the investment and the commitment that's, uh, that's here. And uh, you bring a young man into this facility, he won't leave here uncommitted, I can tell you that. It's, it's an awesome opportunity and uh, the chance to play in the SEC and to play for championships are, are vital to what we're doing. So really, really excited about that. Um, so my number one goal is to, to recruit, get out here and recruit. Uh, the next thing is, is to get our alumni uh, together, unify our alumni. Uh, that's my goal, is to have alumni functions, to have guys come back and get out here and, and have an alumni game and to do all those things, um, you know, all the way from Coach Sewell all the way up, uh, you know, Coach Schillenberger and Coach Wells and Coach Gatt, all the all the great coaches that have been here. My job and, and one of my biggest goals is to unify our alumni, bring them in here and let them see that I want them to be proud of what we do. I want them to be proud of the players that we put out on this field at the Joe. I want them to walk in here and know I'm proud that I play at the University of Alabama. And that's another goal that, that I have um, as a coach here. And then, you know, as, as we talk about uh, moving forward with the program, uh, when I got here, let's hope this time next year, we're, we're sitting here having a chance to, to host a super regional. Uh, this facility, we should be hosting regionals, and that's our goal is to host regionals, to bring three other teams to Tuscaloosa and then beat them and then move on to the next round. You know, that's our goal. And hopefully as we get through this and we grow and we recruit with this facility and this fine university, then we'll get back to Omaha, uh, get back to ch have a chance to play for a national championship. Now, see these coaches up here today, uh, I've met with some already that have won uh, national championships and have won at the biggest level. I will be calling you guys. I will be at y'all's uh, door finding out the, the secrets that you guys have done. And I want to thank y'all for being here uh, with that. And just to get, you know, the Grand Slammers Club, I know that that is a huge vital part of this program. Uh, my goal is to load the Grand Slammers Club up from Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and take you to Omaha, Nebraska in the next few years. That's my goal. I can promise you, good Lord willing, we bring in the right players, the right energy, and the light, right passion. We're going to get there. I promise you. It's been done before with great coaches, and hopefully as we build this thing up, my, my dream would be getting those guys uh, back to Omaha. <clears throat> People ask how we're going to do it. We're going to, you know, my, my philosophy as a coach, 
my, my thing, if you look back at what we've done at building different places, is finding kids with character. Finding kids that have a goal and aspirations of getting a great degree from the University of Alabama. Having a chance to grow and develop as a baseball player in our program. Have a chance to play for an SEC championship. Have a chance to, to get a degree, and all those things are, are vital for me as a coach and what we're going to ask our players to do every day. We're going to ask them to go to class. We're going to ask them to sit in the first two rows. We're going to ask them to not wear their hats backwards. We're going to ask them when they go into restaurants to represent us in a first-class manner. We're going to ask them to do a lot of things. But in return, I think for us to get to the big picture of things, I think all the little things add up to those big things. And you can't do that big thing unless you have a lot of little things that add up. So as a coach, those are the things that we're going to ask our players to do. Um, and I think that uh, if, as we've been able to build things and build programs over the last few years, I think that's been a, really a key ingredient for me. <clears throat> People ask about how, how kind of coach you are. Well, you can see, uh, you can go on different things, I'm sure, and see. Uh, you know, I'm going to ask our players to be relentless on that field. We're going to ask them to play for 27 outs. You know, we're going to ask them to go out there and represent the name on this front of the jersey and not the back. We want them to ask, we're going to ask them to play with energy and passion. Because you can tell I'm going to coach that way. I hate to say it, but I pulled, uh, tore my calf muscle off this, this past year down at Louisiana Lafayette. Big game. We hadn't beaten them in a long time. Big rivalry. Guy coming around third base. I'm wheeling him in. Next thing I know, I, I thought somebody hit me with a baseball in the back of my calf. I said, my gosh, they, they really don't like us. They just threw a baseball at me. And I looked around, there wasn't a baseball. And then I felt my leg and my calf, and I was like, either I'm getting old or I'm getting too excited. <laughs> so uh, it wasn't a baseball. It was a, a, a very bad uh, pulled muscle. So uh, after walking across or hobbling back across the dugout, that was not very much fun down at Raging Cajun country. So uh, it's pretty, pretty crazy. But we're going to play and coach relentlessly and have a lot of passion. We're going to have fun. I want these guys to have a great experience here. Uh, I'm going to ask them to put their faith first. I'm going to ask them to put their family next. I'm going to ask them to put their education next. And then we're going to have baseball right there behind those three things. And then after that, we we'll don't have to worry about anything else because that's going to take enough time up as it is. So uh, it's a great day. Uh, I'm so excited to be here. So thankful for everybody to be a part of this thing. And uh, I want to thank you for allowing my dream to come true today. Um, I know it's been a lot of tears, and I'm doing, you know, I'm doing as good as I can before I get too emotional. I'm a very emotional guy, uh, but just as this accumulates from our family, you know, being, you know, stressed across this United States and the relationships that we've had, the places and ties that we've had, uh, I promise you this, um, this is a dream come true for me. And to be here in front of you, to be the next baseball coach at the University of Alabama, it's something I cherish and will respect. I'm very humbled and honored to be a part of this program, to be a part of this family now. And uh, I can promise you this, we're going to do things right every single day. We're going to thank the good Lord every day, put our feet down and go to work and build this program to something somebody can be proud of. And it's something I've been waiting to say for a long time. Row Tide. Thank you very much. <laughs>